fallen nearly 30% from its October peak levels. Um, let's uh, try and find out what the impact will be on uh, you know, a company like HOEC. To discuss this, we are now joined by P. Ilango, the MD of the company. Uh, Mr. Ilango, 90% of your business comes in from gas. Only 10% is linked to crude. Uh, so if you could tell us what impact have we seen on account of this 30% decline in crude prices in the last two months? Okay, one is uh, the in terms of uh, the, our portfolio, 90% is gas, so the 10% oil, which is roughly transmits about 800 barrels of condensate that we produce uh, for the JV as a whole. And our share of that is about uh, 300 uh, barrels. So the impact is very minimum for us. And in fact, in November, uh, the October prices have been average, uh, uh, the average Brent price has been about $70. Uh, the hit has come from November onwards. So the impact would be very minimum for us because of the lower exposure to oil. As far as the gas price is concerned, the government had come for a, uh, had increased the gas price by about 10% uh, effective uh, f uh, 1st of September. So you see some uptrend uh, that has happened in our gas realization. So, uh, which has a neutral impact on the overall revenue uh, that we are seeing. Okay. So, our gas price has gone up by 10% effective first September. Uh, the oil is, is, is declining from November onwards, uh, but our oil exposure is only 10%. So, okay. we, we, our impact is uh, very minimal. Uh, Mr. Elango, good afternoon, sir. Uh, would you be able to share with us what has been the volume growth uh, in uh, this quarter gone by and also for the full year what's your projection yeah overall uh, our volume uh, compared to last quarter we are seeing an uh, uh, increase in the uptake of uh, gas that we've seen uh, but by a large uh, uh, the assam uptake is stabilizing and growing and uh, overall uh, for the year as a whole uh, what we have guided is about uh, 32, 32 million cubic uh, uh, feet of gas per day uptake from Dirac and about 10 million cubic feet of gas per day uptake from our PY1 also field. So, and we are, we are on track to achieve that. Okay. Uh, gas prices are up 10%, oil prices are down. Per se, if you could tell us what the realizations are for gas as well as oil in the current quarter? Uh, you know, gas uh, gas prices is you know close to 3.5 dollar per mm BTU uh, the rate and uh, Brent you know you had uh, we get a discount of roughly 5 percent to Brent of what we for the volume that we produce there's a 5 percent discount to the Brent but as the uh, oil price decreases the discount rate also tend to decrease so that's the so I won't be able to say more precise uh, with the quarter coming to an end. So realizations have come down <coughs> for oil? No, I'm saying the realization in respect of gas has gone up by 10%. And in the 10% uh, of uh, our oil portfolio, uh, we get a discount of about 5% to the Brent mm. prices. Okay, uh, Mr. Elango, what is uh, the capacity utilization in the Diroc field? And also, uh, you know, I was reading one of the notes which suggests that um, you have planned a pipeline to um, increase evacuation from Diroc. Uh, what is the status of that and how much could that help you in bringing down costs? Yes, uh, you know, in terms of the uh, uh, offtake from Diroc, uh, uh, in terms of percentage capitalization, we are doing more than 90% of our capacity utilization and uh, the new pi all pipelines that are required for current production is already completed and uh, the uptake is uh, to near to full capacity uh, the new pipeline is only for uh, for the next phase of our development plan in which we hope to drill another four wells in the rock and uh, and lay this new pipeline to increase the total production from currently about you know, 35, 34, 35 million cubic feet to 55 million cubic feet. That is about 50% increase to current production. But that will happen post the approval of development plan and drilling of wells. So currently we are running near to our full capacity, both in gas as well as in condensate. Okay. 
You were planning to ramp up production in the Kaveri Basin. What has been the update there or progress? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that uh, we've achieved the uh, the ramp up uh, of Kaveri Basin production. We completed a two well drilling campaign in offshore Kaveri, and the production has gone up from about uh, two million cubic feet per day to ten million cubic feet per day. So that has happened already. All right, uh, Mr. Okay. Lang. All right, sir. Thanks very much for joining in, and all the very best uh, for uh, the rest of uh, the financial year. So that's the word coming in from HOEC. The impact from the fall in uh, crude oil is very, very minimal for the uh, for the company. It accounts just for about ten percent of their business. But importantly. Um